What's up guys, today we're here with Holorides and Audi. They did a collaboration here with their vehicles, the Audi e-tron, as well as Holorides. This whole new VR experience that you can have in the car. It's kind of crazy. They're gonna take us on a ride in an old school 1967 Cadillac, and then an Audi e-tron made in 2022. And they're gonna show us how it can work with vehicle integrated systems, as well as their device that they sell in a 1967 Cadillac. So it doesn't matter if you've got an old vehicle or a new vehicle, you can have this VR experience no matter where you go. So honestly, I don't know what to expect. I think it's going to be VR in a car, but I mean, they'll describe it to us, but I don't know. Here we go. So we're uh, starting with Gen Z is basically what we are Gen Z. targeting right now. Yeah. Okay. Because the the gaming um, genre is, is pretty good, big, and um, I think this is yeah kind of the the target we we start out. With yeah, first. I mean this is this is great. <laughs> I just imagine myself like on a road trip. It feels great, right? Like feels. And can I play? Okay, let's say I'm sitting next to a friend who's also mm -hmm. have a headset. Can I play with them? Uh, so right now we uh, we have it on our to-do list is the short answer. Uh, right now you, you you wouldn't be able. Uh, what you can do is with the retrofit version uh, we talked about before is that you both play in the same car, but you yeah. wouldn't have information passed from one headset to the other. So it's like you can play you can play next to each other, but it's still single player. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But eventually there'll be this capability of you know like a 5G capability or something. I mean, we, we are inside of the car and uh, we could uh, probably also uh, connect it, uh, connect the headsets through the same hotspot that you're connected to. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there, I think it's, it's on our short list to, to uh, go there and uh, enable multiplayer. <laughs> oh gosh, we're doing the BB gun thing. <laughs> are you already at the boss battle? Yeah. Oh, nice. so you said speedrun earlier. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to show Jordan speedrunning, but he's not very good at it. Oh yeah, he's much faster than I did. <laughs> I think I already beat the boss. Just kidding. I need to kill him some more. <laughs> the shooting the BB gun is really fun though. This is wild. I can see it turning as the car turns. Oh man, it's kind of trippy. I like it. <laughs> so that, that uses, what was the program called? Book something? Bookful. Bookful. And so yeah. that is just a program you teamed up with and they're just going to exactly. load in just videos constantly? Exactly. So you, it's kind of, as the name says, there, there are different books and it's loading up right now. Yeah. So there are different books with different content. Uh, right now there's, for example, Girls with Guts. Here's your controller, sir. Yeah. Uh, which is about the um, involvement of women's rights. Oh, and cool. There's yeah. one about a T-Rex in the prehistoric age where uh, there's a lot of information about uh, how tall those things were, how heavy and so on, and when they lived. And um, yeah, there is new books coming out uh, regularly as well. So awesome. it will load right now for you. And once you're in there, you can select the first book. So yeah, we're in dinosaurs. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, that's so cool. It's like right in front of me. <laughs> and then the volume, you says left side? Yeah, exactly. So there should left be- Left top? Yeah. Here's the, here's the thing, like a lot of, I think a lot of people will go, well, why would I want this in a car, right? Like. I, I can see parents, especially old school parents, be like, okay, why would I go and spend something for a gaming system for my kid in a car when, when I want them to stay away from the screens? But what usually ends up happening, right, because we're talking 13 plus, is that they're on their phones. Mm. They're going to be on their phones and they're going to be this, TikTok, whatever it is, or they're looking out the window with headphones in and, and they're no longer interacting with you, right? But I think what this does, or at least what I envision, right? So if I was doing this and my, my dad and I are like really close, mm -hmm. right? And so if he was in the front seat and I was in the back and my mom was there and I'm wearing this and playing games, I can still hear him. I can still interact. They can say, like, like, what do you see now? What do you turn left? Hey, have you tried doing this? And there can be more of a communication rather than I'm stuck in my world. Yeah. Just scrolling mindlessly because, you know, okay, can you can you cast? Can you phone cast with this? Um, or no? Let me think for a second. We Like, can, that, can the screen cast into a phone? So, so I can the see other way around playing. from phone mirroring. So what you see on your phone, what is happening in here? Yeah. I don't think so at the moment. Okay. So how do you rip video from that you record? Uh, we have those developer versions where we can um, plug it into a PC and then we can uh, cast it to and a PC screen it, and then we it. can, yeah. Got it, cool. Yeah, because I know Yeah, because I know on the Quest you can yeah. cast and you can record, but it's also yeah. this big. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Not very car friendly. This guy is it's small and, and does it collapse? Yeah, Yeah. Man, you can you fold can, it together. Yeah, you can fold this and stick it, you know, anywhere yeah. in yeah. your car. Yeah. 
on the Lucid, there is the center console. This oh. is a perfect fit for the Lucid. That's awesome. I'm yeah. Tell you. yeah. No, this is great. I mean, that's how I see it, right? So we go on a lot of road trips and what ends up happening is my kiddo sits in the way back, right? Mm. And, and uh, obviously I know there's an age thing, but disregarding the age thing, uh, <laughs> you know, if he was 13, then we would be like, hey man, like it's still a really great way for him to learn. Obviously we would be like, hey, you can't play any shooters or something, but mm. it's like, yeah. let's, let's play some games where you're learning about dinosaurs or where you're learning about you know, whatever it may be. And I'm not sure really what's on Bookful, but I'm sure there's quite a bit of stuff right? yeah. that can be beneficial. But yeah. um, what do you see the path of the company growing in the future? Like what's the what's the goal? Well, I'm not Besides sure being if... every car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm the really the right guy to, yeah, uh, yeah. to talk to you about. Uh, maybe you can, um, because our founders are also here, uh, cool. maybe yeah. you can do a, a, grab a small interview with them. And yeah, I think great. they have better answers for that because awesome. I'm the tech guy. I can... You're the tech guy. Yeah. Oh, what do you, okay, so what do you see VR going in the future? Um, I think we had some feedback during the drives uh, that the headsets resolutions are still, they can uh, be, be yep. uh, improved. I mean, this is the, the obvious stuff. It will get better by time. Right. Uh, more computational power, of course, is always better. Uh, I mean, really think about it. Like, look how small this is. Yeah, definitely. I mean, right, if like, you think about nice. it's like five years ago, uh, this would, would not have it been It would require possible. a computer. With yeah, a, exactly. With a great memory card, like graphics card. Like, yeah. it, this would be impossible. Yeah. It's impossible, you say. Yeah, so those are the obvious uh, things, but I think um, one of the biggest goals should be to uh, broaden the market to, to uh, make more people able uh, to, to use VR headsets. Mm -hmm. Because right now it's, it's still kind of a niche market. It really is. Yeah. yeah. A lot so, of, I know a lot of people that just have never experienced yeah. it. And so when they do, they're like, this is great, but how can I apply it? Like, mm -hmm. It's always the application of it. Yeah. And I think something like this gives one more step of application yeah. where it's like, Hey, now it's not only in your home when you have, you know, 20 by 20 feet of empty space. Yeah. Now you can go ahead and, and use it sitting in a car where you're already going to be sitting. Yeah. You're already going to be on a device or a screen. You might as well make yeah. use of it. Right. So man, that's great. I love it. And then charging wise, this thing is, this thing's plugged directly in. Yeah, exactly. So oh, nice. as long as your car has power, this has power. So you could run anything like you can put on a 12 volt. You can put on the USB-C. Yeah, so uh, we also have power banks in case we uh, we want to uh, power them off of the power bank. Or if you say like, I don't know, you want to keep it running and go to another car or something, yeah. uh, then you can just plug it in there. But most of the modern cars, you can just plug them just, into the car. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So we don't have to ever worry about running out of battery or power. Yeah. This guy is rechargeable too? Yes, exactly. You can, can this guy plug in directly too? Yeah. Oh, all right. But you could also just uh, swap the, the main battery out here for, for two AA batteries. So, so it does have a backup yeah, in exactly. case it, yeah. it dies. Yeah. So there's battery built into the controller and exactly. there's also backup. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. My biggest takeaways from that so far is that I, I, I see my biggest hold back from VR has always been what more can I do besides like Beat Saber and swinging my arms in my living room. And when it comes to a lot of things, I can see the application of it in my life at least, you know, road trips with the family, hanging out with some friends, making it something more of a, of a conversation piece. I'm sure in the future there could be games that, you know, require friend integration. I know there is a, there's an amazing game um, that we play VR called Attack of the Squirrels or Acorn. Or have you ever played that? A huh, not yet. You haven't played that? You no. gotta play it. It's called like Acorn, but it's like A-C-R-O-N, Acron or okay. something. Yeah. And essentially it's a, it's a, it's a, you're a tree. Whoever has the headset is a tree. Uh-huh. Okay, and you're throwing stuff, like not nuts, but stuff. And you have these golden acorns at the bottom of your tree and everyone can log in via their phone. Right, they can connect to you and they're playing on their phone and they're all little squirrels trying to steal the acorn to put it back in their nest. Yeah. And yeah. so it becomes that one, you only need one headset, but you can play up to, I think, five oh, yeah. people with the app. So a asymmetrical gameplay. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Awesome. And so I think, I think something like that could be super beneficial, you know, in a, in a yeah. yeah, yeah. So there you go. It's a bit dark in here, but we're yeah. good. No, we got light. Yeah? yeah, cool. So, um, none of you have done a holo ride before. Nope. Very, uh, very great. Uh, I always like the first time. Yeah. Uh, introduction is cool. Um, so I will uh, introduce the headset first. Then we, uh, I, I explain to you how the buttons uh, on the controller works. Uh, are you guys familiar with the PlayStation controller? Yeah. It's basically very similar to it from the layout, uh, but it's from 8-bit though. Okay. It's our partner for the controller, but uh, the, uh, our system works with every Bluetooth-enabled controller. So you can just pair whatever you have at home mm -hmm. or use the one we provide you with. Okay. 
Um, but let's get started with the headset. It's the HTC Vive Flow. Uh, Romina already uh, told you a little bit about it. Now you can see it in real life. Uh, it's a pretty small form factor, starting to look a little bit more like, just like a pair of glasses. Starting to, not there yet, but getting closer. At least it's not the shoe box size anymore that you strap to the front of your face. Um, it's pretty easy to use. It has only three buttons. Maybe you can see it a bit better here. There is the power button. You don't need it. It's already powered on. And here is the volume control, just like on a cell phone. It's uh, this makes it louder, this less loud. But I will dial it in for you, so it's okay. But you can of course change it uh, to however you like. Um, that's already it for the headset. You can put it on just like a normal pair of glasses. Just slide them right on. Good to go. And the other thing, the controller. <coughs> Uh, you, if you hold it like this, you're already doing a great job because you mainly will use this button uh, in the experiences we prepared for today. Or it's not prepared for today, it's uh, our content lineup that we currently have out there. Uh, most of the interactions are done with this little guy here. Um, for example, menu selection, slashing your enemies with a sword, shooting bubbles, and yeah, whatever you have. Jumping, I think the first game will uh, let you jump. Uh, with this button, so uh, whenever you want to interact so in some way, press this one and you should be good to go. Uh, there's just one more button I want you to remember, it's this one here in the middle. Uh, it will uh, do the recenter for you, that's what we call it. It will just calibrate the forward direction at the beginning. You should, you probably just need to press it once, just look straight ahead once you have the headset on. Give this button a little click and then the forward direction is calibrated and you should be good to go. Uh, maybe you can, yeah. Oh, and nice hair too, dude. Thank yeah. you, man. Okay. Just let me know when you're ready, then I can hand you the controller. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, here it goes. All right, so press the middle button, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the first thing to do. Maybe, sorry, we can do the no, cable good. thing a little bit more like okay. this. Okay, so you can just hit the right button uh, if you're selecting the start game. Okay. Now you're this in the car. Yep, I'm in the car. What? All right. 1995 Bug Riders Inc. Pixel Rent. All right, I'm ready to start the game. Running. Oh, it's like uh, Super Mario Bros. Oh, is it really? Yeah. But you're in the car. You're in a car. I am in the car. This is pretty wild right now. Wait, I don't understand. What do you see? Uh, it looks like I'm driving through the mountains right now. It's actually pretty wild because it it's on the snow, and it feels like I'm just drifting on the snow. All right. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, jump, okay, jumping. So uh, right now you're you're playing uh, Pixel Ripped, and if you have any questions, just let me know. But otherwise, I will just let you have uh, enjoy the game, and I think it should explain all the controls in the game. But if anything is unclear or you feel like you're stuck and you need help, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically like Super Mario or Sonic, um, something from our age that you might understand. <laughs> does, does, does you being in a car make it, like what do you feel, does it augment the reality? Um, so not for the game. It, I see two hands holding up the game system in my hands, and I can definitely see us driving through the mountains. Uh, there's houses, cars to the left. Uh, I can see your head. Well, I can't see your head. It's a, I guess, a mom's head and then a dad's head. There's a couple bobbleheads up front. Um, so you're uh, playing the game on a game console? Yeah, I'm playing the game almost like I'm holding a Game Boy. Oh. Just up in front yeah. of me. Yeah. yeah. And you can even see the little game uh, cartridge sticking out of the top. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I hope that you will make it to the boss battle because they're something really cool is going to happen. So maybe you can try right. to yeah, speed fast, run it. Yeah, fast, speed run. All right, all right, <laughs> speed it. run, let's go. Uh, <laughs> speed run, we'll pretend we're fast forwarding here. Yeah, I'm not doing too well here. Oh gosh, he's a gamer though. So I know. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm trying to get to the end. The ceiling, <laughs> I'm climbing up a vine, or somebody's climbing up a vine. So there's a vine coming out of the screen of my console. Okay, all right. What am I, how am I shooting here? <laughs> you're like, what am I doing? Wait, so you're no longer in the console? I'm just... no longer in the console. I am actually 
on top of the car? <laughs> yep, I'm on top of the car. I'm fighting this boss, man. Are you winning? Uh, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I don't know who I'm supposed to be shooting at. So, yeah, so what you said, we're looking at the puck itself is how much resells for how much? Uh, 199. 199. The package is a n number you said. We'll, yeah. we'll figure that out. We'll throw it out here in the description right here. Yeah. And cool. uh, you can retrofit any car with the HoloLens. Exactly. And if you already have an Audi, you don't need the puck. If you have an Audi, uh, it has to be uh, a, a, a new a new model, yeah. and uh, you have to check because it's an extra that you add just like a big navigation system. Uh, so you would have to check if the car is uh, Holoride ready. If you added it, yeah. Yeah. Then uh, you can just add the uh, the glasses, so the VR headset, the controller, and there's also a safety strap included in that package, where, which uh, attaches to the seatbelt, uh, just to add some more security. Oh, that's awesome. And um, yeah, then you're ready to go with an Audi. Can you tell me how to beat the boss? Okay, so, so there are two guys flying uh, to the left and to the right of the boss, right? Yep. You have your BB gun in the car. So you shoot your <laughs> BB, BB gun, gun at those guys, and then you can, with your small figurine, start attacking the main boss. Okay, how do I shoot the BB gun? Uh, I think you press the uh, shoulder buttons on your controller. The lower ones. Oh, I do. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. So the VR, I can turn my head and look at different monsters on the screen. And that's how I aim the BB gun. And then I'm also playing my little man who's running around the map trying to survive. Okay, okay. So you have a game in the game oh going on. Oh my goodness. There's so many different things happening right now. <laughs> Do I kill the boss with the BB gun or with my little man? With the little man. Okay. Doing this all in a caddy. <laughs> That's right, right here. Look at this beautiful Cadillac. Oh yeah. 67. 67? Oh my god, it could be my dad. <laughs> a good thing it seems like I have unlimited lives here because <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> this comes from top 500 COD player in the world. Cannot beat <laughs> Pixel. What is it? Pixel Rip? Pixel Rip. Pixel yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so we're here with Niels from Hollow Rides, and uh, we kind of talked about, and you always, already saw kind of the drive along, but I had a few follow-up questions. And uh, the first one we had was just kind of the vision for the company, right? Where, where is it going and what do you see VR in like five years? Yeah, so we started the company with a clear purpose in mind, making trends in time count, because for most people that are in transit, that are passengers, it feels like wasted time. Um, usually a ride is pretty dull, so yeah. we want to turn this into a thrill ride and um, basically adding thrill to every ride. This was always the, the vision we had when we started the company. Yeah. And now that we've released a retrofit device that works in any car, no matter which brand or model year or make uh, or model, um, it, it opens up completely new possibilities and brings us a little closer to this vision. Yeah, and it was really cool. Honestly, the ride was, was super seamless. It was cool. fun. We did both Cats Cadillac like and it. Audi. Yeah, 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 was, yeah, so it was cool. I liked it. Um, so you saw like full integration versus retrofit? Yeah, exactly. So and any any it, difference from no, your No, it felt the same. Cool, awesome. It literally felt the same. Cool. So one of the biggest questions we did have though is with this kind of shift, and obviously now it's going, yeah. it went from like work from office to completely remote, yeah. so it feels like now there's sort of a hybrid, right? Mm -hmm. So do you feel like that's gonna be a bump in the road when it comes to how much people are really spending time in the cars, right? Because some people are working from home, some people are going to the yeah, office. That, that's true, but still privately you do a lot of trips. So initially we focus on families, teenagers on back seats, so they, actually drove more during the pandemic because instead of flying to a vacation right. destination, they drove around. So I think you had this fantastic word of staycation, staying close oh, to yeah, home yeah, yeah. and doing everything by car because it feels safe. It's like your comfort environment, comfy, comfy environment. Uh, it's more like a living room for, for families. And so uh, we actually saw in, in the numbers that people traveled more in their personal car. That's, so that's, yeah. that's um, and, and again, now we are post pandemic. Um, yeah. So things will change again, but I, I think people learned that they um, that they have more flexibility right now, and I, 
think we have a cool solution for in-car yeah. entertainment. No, I think it's strong. awesome. Yeah, we love it, man. We love it. He, he couldn't get past the the little boss level. It took him oh, forever. I think okay. I beat it in like three seconds. Next, we have, next time. Yeah, we have video of it. We'll run that video right now of me speed running it. But uh, no, so the last question I have for you yeah. is, is about VR. So mm -hmm. VR, I remember when I bought the Quest 1 right before yeah. the pandemic. Yeah. And I was like the only one with it because it was like yeah. sold out in seconds. Yeah. And I remember every time I introduced somebody to it, they'll be like, what is this? Like yeah. their mind was blown, but it was like, you know, the Quest was the first one that was like wires free without a computer and it was bulky, it's crazy, it's big. But obviously as time has gone by, it's been yeah. getting better and better. Yeah. Where do you see VR five years from now? Where do you see hollow rides, right? Yeah. Um, I, I think you'll see a massive improvement with the devices in the next few years. Um, the next generation of devices was just launched. Um, yeah. Some of them even here uh, or a few weeks ago. Um, and I, I, I think in general, people will get more used to um, to using these devices, but you'll see more a blend between mixed reality, VR, and even AR use cases. So uh, devices that can cover like the full spectrum of extended reality. Um, and they will get more convenient because still there, there is a small group of people using it. So that's why we also ship like our Pioneers pack with a headset, with a controller, yeah, with a yeah, safety yeah. strip, with a subscription because most people don't have a headset yet. Um, but I think we'll see a lot more adoption with a, this now upcoming generation of headsets and the one after that. So in the next three, four or five years, we'll see massive adoption awesome. from my and then, perspective. And then just like a follow up on the, on the yeah. subscription. Yeah. The subscription pays for the games that are retrofitted or the games are also additional? Um, no, there, there is all included. So if you uh, order the Pioneers pack, you get the hardware plus a one year subscription and everything is included. So oh, no, nice. no extra purchases, except if you want to maybe, I don't know, have like special skins or characters. Oh yeah, or, like, yeah, the, you like know, in-app in -app purchases. What's yeah, yeah. familiar, but uh, you have the full experience without this too. So it's all included in the awesome. subscription. No, thanks so much. I yep. appreciate it. I know it was quick, but that's all I needed. Thanks for trying. Yeah, yeah. No, I love it, man. It's great. <laughs>